my YouTube channel where you'll find Commodore 64 and Atari material available here. I'm going to show you a video I've been working on here, video well, uh, program. I've been trying to upload this one for a while, so finally got this one working again. It's called Audio Keyboard. This is basically it. I'll run it and show it to you. So you press a key. It's picking up what's called the AXI code for that individual key. Oops, that one had too much in it. Let's try this again. Some keys have, I put too much, um, See if it goes past 255 it's going to crash like that. I was doing that to get um, higher octaves. We did F1 keys. Return key, space bar. Shut down my window there. One well, of those keys shut down the window, okay. Okay, so let me um, show you the program here. Try to make this as quickly as I can here. So the first line here for 20, this is just setting what's called um, the SID or the sound interface device um, setup. This is where the memory location begins at 54272 which according to Commodore 64 is the voice one frequency control. It controls the low and the high byte into those registers. And that's what you saw printing on the screen was the low and the high byte registers that was um, emitting the sound that was coming out. It's actually only got one, basically it's got two voices going, but one is in a different octave, so you're probably not able to recognize them. And I'm still not very familiar with sound. This is actually one of my first real tutorials on sound. So go ahead and throw stuff at the screen because I'm not going to be great at this. But we'll learn together. Okay, so 53.279 here, to jump down here, that's voice to frequency control. That's the low byte. And then there's um, 54.280, which is right below it. That's the high byte. So these are the lows and the high bytes, just kind of like I showed you with memory before. You take the low byte and the high byte, and it registers what's called, um, where's it at here, 16-bit um, frequency resolution. So not exactly 16-bit sound, but it's got what's called a frequency resolution, waveform control, envelope shaping, oscillator synchronization, and ring modulization. So it does all that with three separate music channels. Commodore's pretty unique for all that stuff. Maybe this video will get better later once I start learning more about sound, but for now I just thought I would show you a simple, silly demo I put together. So I'm looking on my sheet here. I got a cheat sheet here. So 54296 is actually called the volume and filter select register and this one actually just controls the pitch of the sound I put it to 8 because it would be kind of loud because I turn my audio up when I'm recording you can set this to 15 it would be super super loud and 54278 that is let me go back here that's actually the voice one sustained release control register you can set certain bits in that and you can um, control duration of the volume um, usually they make them pretty much the same because you have this one and then you have 54285 which is a voice to sustain release control register. So maybe the next Google Hangouts we'll play with some sound and we'll see if we can get some pretty cool stuff going on. Um, 54276, uh, that one is actually a voice one control register. So for you guys who want to know, I'm actually just using these little sheets that I created here. It's kind of um, a cheat sheet there if you want to see it there. It looks better over here if you can actually see it better. And that's just some of the stuff I've been working on. And it's kind of on the back here so I can kind of see what goes with what. And this is page two. There's a, there's a lot of these you can actually you can actually work with basically. And all these are coming out of the map in the Commodore 64 book. Yeah, I kind of underlined the, the registers there. So yeah, that's basically what it does. It just reads the keyboard here. It sets a loop here. Because this is um, 54276, that's actually what it called it in the release register. Back right here, 54. It's the voice one control register. 
So that's that certain sound. So as you change these bits in here, you can get different sounds, I believe. Um, let me see if that changes anything. Hear it? It's got like a background now. So it's, you can set up like these weird sounds in the background when you start playing with it. Okay, go to 900 turns off the sound. You just basically set all the registers to zero there. And this is just looping inside of here so we can actually hear the sound or the pitch. Go to 22, goes back to the keyboard to repeat the process. And that's basically it guys. So, wanted to make it a short video so I don't lose the audio on this one. And let me know if you like this one. And yeah, if you're interested in this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Each week we hang out for Google Hangouts. We're not doing it this week because I've got a, a move going on. You probably can't really see it, but there's boxes here in the background. Actually behind me there, see them there? So I'm actually in the middle of moving. My apartment's kind of in shambles right now. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you like this and want to see more stuff. And thanks for them also for the advice about getting up the D64 files. They're all available on my website. Now you can download them. And it seems like people have been pretty happy about that. So have a good day.